All right, some asshole out there stole my freaking music. If you're a follower of mine, I guess you understand that a big part of my career is about music. Ever since my teenage year, I've been writing music and it's just one of those few things in life that I truly, truly enjoy. On my YouTube channel, I would say that 99% of the music that I play is my original work and that 1% being covers of other bands or other artists. Whenever I do make an artist cover of someone else's music uh, on my YouTube channel, the label usually sends a copyright infringement claim against that video, which means that the video usually stays, but the label will take all of the ad revenue that I will make from that video. So I basically make absolutely zero money from doing covers on my YouTube channel. However, it is something that I feel is uh, something I want to do. And also it's part of my whole YouTube channel sometimes that I make covers. And making zero money out of covers is absolutely fine. I think that the artist who wrote the original music deserves the revenue from that video. I have absolutely no problem with that. I'm using their work in my video fair and square. And whenever I play my original music, which is the bigger chunk of my content, you know, I get to keep my ad revenue. And playing my original music on my channel has kept my channel uh, thriving for the past almost 14 years now. And my videos usually don't contain anything else other than my original work. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying that ad revenue is what keeps me alive, but it is a very big part of what keeps me alive. Well, the other day I received a copyright claim uh, on two of my recent videos where I'm playing my song Cringy AF from my album Star Singer that uh, was released in 2021. And the claim looks like this. It says, hi, old England. Copyrighted content has been detected in your video. This is gonna piss a lot of people off, where, which was the video where I played my own song Cringy AF. The visibility of your video is not impacted, but you can no longer monetize it. The copyright owner is now either monetizing it or receiving analytics about it. This is not a copyright strike and does not affect your channel. So it's not a copyright strike. Copyright strikes means that your video gets taken down and you get a warning basically. But as of right now, this is a claim that will take the monetization for the video and give it to the claimant. Okay. And it says here, content used, uh, some Chinese lettering, YB content owner, Merlin Eway music, 10 cent. That's like, you know, that Chinese brand that owns every fucking game thing. Tencent Music Entertainment Group, impact on video not monetized. So meaning that I'm not getting any ad revenue from the video. Now, when you get a claim like this, there's a couple of things you can do. You can leave the video as it is. If you're fine with the restriction on the video, this is usually what I would do if I upload a cover, for instance, which means that the claimant will take the money and eventually it gets distributed to the artist. That's what I hope at least. The second option is to edit out the segment by trimming, muting, or replacing the copyright content with the YouTube video editor. Uh, that means that you can mute the section, mute the music, but that just leaves me like this, you know? <laughs> the third option is to submit a dispute to the content owner if you have the rights to the content. And the fourth option is to re-upload a video, uh, removing that section altogether. Now, obviously I file a dispute with this claim right here saying that, you know, this is, this is a fraudulent claim. This is not their music. This is my music. I own the rights to it. So I do that through the YouTube app. And then whoever made this claim after that has 30 days to respond to my dispute of the claim. And if they wanted to, they can wait 30 days and basically hold my ad revenue hostage. <laughs> throughout this time because no one's getting paid in this time frame, let's say. Potential ad revenue that's being made throughout this time will be, uh, will be on hold basically until it's decided who has the right to this uh, music. Anyways, I got a response a couple days later, so I didn't have to wait 30 days, which is, which is good, but they're still saying that their claim is valid. They have decided that their copyright claim is still valid. And why this can happen, the copyright owner might disagree with your dispute. The reason you gave for disputing the claim may have been insufficient or invalid. Now, at this point, if I uh, dispute this claim further, that will mean that the next step will probably be involving lawyers and shit like that. You know, Old England versus Tencent Music Entertainment Group, which is a big, you know, fucking corporation that has all the money in the world. I'm sitting here in Sweden like, hey, what's up? I need my 30 bucks. 
for my video, you know? <laughs> so how could this happen? Like, how can someone just claim my music? I mean, my music is out on all the streaming platforms since, uh, you know, 2021. How can this happen? So I started looking this up. Okay, YB. I'll search that on, on Spotify and I found this. Okay, it is an artist profile on Spotify. Let's check. I mean, that, this basically just sounds like AI music. And from the looks of it, look at the, the, the length of the songs right here. They're like from one minute and a half to two minutes, which is sketchy as hell. And you can basically hear all of this, you know, the production is different in all of this. So this is, this is not this artist's music. He's basically taken a bunch of songs and, and published them as his own. What the hell? This is another one of my songs. This is the uh, Time Will Not Heal that I wrote for The Haunted. I mean, basically what it's done, he's taken a, a video of mine, probably a video demo where I shortened my own song to, you know, fit in the solo and all that. And then he uploaded it as his own under the stupid f name YB. What a f***ing asshole! <laughs> Alright, here it is. Last song on this freaking album. Oh, it's pitched up even. So I wonder if he's trying to circumvent the thing that... that he's using my song by pitching it up. What a f asshole. That's all I can say. I'm seriously pissed off about this. But it's definitely shorter. 125. Oh, he just does a fade out before the second solo. And look. It's the first freaking song in his popular section. So not only is this to claim YouTube videos, he's also using my stuff to get royalties on Spotify and I guess other streaming platforms as well. All right, so in terms of the YouTube dispute that I had, it was not only one video, it was two videos. One of the solo guitars YouTube as well, where I was playing the same song uh, that got claimed. I took that last dispute even further because, I mean, obviously it's my music and I can prove that it's my music and that it was released in 2021 and not... Uh, 2024 when this was released. So I have all the evidence that this is my music and uh, I filed a dispute for this and eventually I actually won this and they released their copyright claim on YouTube video. So it seems at least on the YouTube side of things, you know, I will get the ad revenue for this and you know, everything's fine. However, now starts the proceeding of me, you know, trying to take down this guy's uh, album right here because he's potentially making money by uploading my music again, which is f stupid. I That pisses me the f off. So I just want to make you guys aware that this is happening right now. And I think that this is a problem that we're going to see more of uh, in the future. You know, in regards to that other song that was on this album, that's a Century Media uh, published song. So I have to uh, email Century Media to see if they can take this guy down or something like that. You know, but for myself, I'm not sure where to start with this. I guess I have to uh, contact uh, the publishing, the digital publishing that, that I'm using to see if they can take down this. But then again, it's like 10 cents and it's a Chinese artist. They don't give a shit about this in China. So I, for an artist, I mean, this is the like the last thing we have left. It's not making us a lot of money, but it's just, it, it fucking sucks, man. I, I just want to make you guys aware of that I have this problem. Uh, and I'm, you know, I have to spend time uh, fixing all of this. You know, time I could have spent writing music. <laughs> so uh, I'm just a little pissed off right now that this is even happening. But maybe if I'm lucky, I can make a little bit of ad revenue from this video. All right, thank you so much uh, for listening to my little Friday rant. It is a little bit frustrating on my behalf, I must say. But I just want to uh, say thank you to you guys for the full on support uh, with, uh, you know, being a, a subscriber on my YouTube channel and also buying my CDs and my albums and listening to my music you know, throw the right uh, artist channels on the digital platforms and all that. It truly helps, you know, all of this together keeps my channel alive, you know? So for me, this is very important. Okay, guys, have a great weekend and I'll see you on Sunday. Sunday with Ola, let's go.